Welcome back, everybody. We are capping off our coverage today of Florida Film Festival 2011. How's everything been going? Everything is going amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's been smashing, smashing. Smashing, ah. As they would say in Liverpool. Um, opening weekend was fantastic. Mm -hmm. This is midweek. This is probably one of our busiest since opening weekend. We had lines around the corner waiting yeah. for animation show. We had a tweet up at Eden Bar. Yeah. We have food events coming up. Actually, Chef Charles's brunch is probably going to be one of our biggest. For you, when is it all going to sink in and say, oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to sit into a bath <laughs> and just be able to relax? I work with an extraordinary team. Oh, we're small, we are uh, passionate, and we put this thing on, and we're glad to work with partners that uh, believe in the same thing and totally. have a passion for what we do. Uh, I Every day, I soak myself in uh, an oatmeal bath Ooh. and strawberries it's just a giant oatmeal and I'm like the chocolate syrup on top and that's what keeps me actually energized and relaxed what's one thing that we can't miss we've got to be at number one thing that you cannot miss for the rest of the week the 20th annual Florida Film Festival is an evening with Edward James Olmos. This oh, is our 20th anniversary uh, salute to great uh, independent cinema. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet a, an Academy Award nominated actor, to see um, an incredible film uh, on 35, Stand and Deliver, and just to uh, experience a great talk back with uh, an experienced and uh, very giving and uh, prominent individual in independent cinema. All right, Jordana, thank you for joining us. Hug, Urgh. go do God's work.